Good morning. Welcome to Salina Regional's Morning Medical. I'm Mike Maddock. Today's program, we're going to be talking about colorectal cancer. With me, I have Linda Hinnenkamp. Linda is the Cancer Outreach Co Coordinator with Tammy Walker Cancer Center. Thanks for being on the show. Thanks for asking me. I think, number one, when we're talking about a specific type of uh, cancer, we want to know, you know, how prevalent is colorectal cancer? Well, colorectal cancer is the number two cause of death in men and the third cause of death in women. Um, your lifetime risk of colorectal cancer is one in 21 for men and one in 23 for women. So it's kind of a big deal. Um, let's look at the cancer itself and, and maybe some of the risk factors that go into it. Sure, there's some risk factors that you can actually control and those would be things like stop smoking, uh, uh, a lot of alcohol use, you want to cut back on alcohol use, you want to cut back on red meats and um, processed meats, those mm -hmm. things. We know that those are cancer causing, uh, and especially colorectal cancer. And um, exercise, if you're, if you're very inactive, um, that's a very bad risk factor for you too. So we talked about some of the risk factors we can take care of. Mm -hmm. There's some you can't. Exactly. Meaning who your parents were. Exactly. And so genetics plays a huge role, correct? Well, genetics plays a role. And so um, we think like five to 10% of the colorectal cancers are genetic. So what that says is 90 to 95% are not genetic. Okay. And so, I mean, we do have a genetic, there is a genetic factor. And I think over time, years from now, we'll find out there's a lot more things that are uh, genetically responsible for the things that happen to us. But um, if you have a lot of uh, polyps that are found on colonoscopy, that is a risk for uh, colorectal cancer. Um, so I guess what we need to express is what you can do about it and what the, what the viewers can do about it, and that screenings, correct? Right. Number one thing that you can do is screenings. And what screening does, not only does it help you find it, but it can help you prevent it. If you get a colonoscopy, they just go up and look, and if they find a polyp, they clip it off. Polyps are what usually becomes cancer. So they clip it off, and you're done. And, and, and you might be done for like five years. You might not have to go back. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. Thank you for watching. For more information about this, please visit srhc.com, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.